Guys, my name is Richard Dominic, and I'm on Nollywood Radio France. Keep listening. You're listening to Nollywood Radio France today. I have the privilege today to talk to Rita Dominic, the war star. Rita Dominic, welcome to our show, NollywoodRadio.com. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. So, uh, first of all, uh, you don't need to introduce yourself. We don't need that introduction. Everybody know you around the world. <laughs> yeah. Let's start first of all with um, what the message you have for your uh, for your fans around the world. Um, basically, uh, I love them. You know, and um, without them, without God and them, there won't be any Rita Dominic. You know, so I'm so appreciative of them, and I keep trying to improve and better my craft as an actor and a filmmaker. I've started producing my films now, so what I do is try to uh, put out work out there that my fans, the audience, can enjoy. So, yeah. Now, uh, before coming to this festival, Nollywood uh, Week uh, Paris Festival, I read your biography that uh, you come from a family, your father a doctor and your mom a nurse. But how, and again, you, and again, you study theater arts. Yes. So how has been the journey being, being, a, uh, being an actress? It's been great. I never had any, um, my parents never had any reservations. They encouraged me. I got all the support I needed from when I was a kid because I've, I've been acting since I was, what, maybe like five? Yes. So, and I had all the support. My parents did not, um, they weren't against me, you know, uh, pursuing the arts, you know, so it just helped me nurture it, and I went on to study theater arts in University of Kotaka, yeah. so it's been, it's been great, so far. I mean, it's great doing what you love to do, you know, so I'll say, um, I, and, and getting the support from your family, so I'll say in that, in that, um, in, in that area, I've been blessed, you know, getting the support from my family, even though my, my parents, well, they're late now, they were both medical people, but getting the support from them, um, that encourages you, you know, to go ahead and pursue um, the career, your chosen career, so it's been great so far, even though, I mean, uh, working in Nollywood has, has, has had its ups and downs, yeah. you know, I mean, there's nothing in life that's not challenging, yeah. but those challenges are what will even make you, you know, um, how do you say, like, you take the challenge, exactly, yeah. and it makes you stronger, yeah. and it makes you go and do that thing, and do it, basically, yeah. Now, we, we're really very proud of you, and uh, what I want to say is, let me bring you straight, I don't want to take much of your time, because a lot of people are waiting for you. Um, the movie now, we've just watched, it uh, was produced by you, mm -hmm. and uh, that's the meeting. Yes. Such a wonderful movie, and people were laughing. Now, the role you played was just a very wicked lady. <laughs> is, she, is she wicked? <laughs> She's just a normal woman, a receptionist who um, has worked for the government for about 30 years you know you see that's all she knows mm -hmm. that's her livelihood um, working as a, as a secretary is it's a sort of means to an end because you, you can see where she's selling different things in the office she has different businesses going on and that character is a, is a character a lot of us can relate to be it a headmistress a principal a teacher and aunt you know as a character that that is relatable to a lot of Africans you know so um, we just had to tell like what we, what we tried to do is tell a story um, and, and portray what happens in a society and I'm happy we were able to do that you know yeah uh, it's not only an African or Nigerian thing it's still in France we call them les petits chefs you oh, have to, there you go. yeah you have to respect them yeah. okay now um, how long did it take you to to put that movie together the cast was just wonderful and the crew I took um, hmm, from Inception, uh, about a year. Okay, yeah, yeah about a year. Right. Yes. Now, my, 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 my last question will be on the Nollywood Week Festival. What do you think about this festival that is coming up? I mean, you see, this is my first time here. And for me, um, any festival that helps promote the African cinema is welcome. I mean, we have to push our product out there. You know, you heard what that guy said today in the distribution class when he was saying something about um, he got so into Nollywood films because, you know, um, he saw 
characters that he could relate to from back home and it encouraged him to go ahead to work you know in the movie industry you know I mean those are the kind of stories we want to hear and such pla if we can do more of these platforms to encourage more um, filmmakers from Africa and and a project how do you say <laughs> Sorry, English is not my father's language. Yeah, yeah, it does, it, it, it <laughs> um, to, to take it to the next level. To take it to the next level. Yes, and, yes. you know, promote African cinema yes, is yes. very much welcome, you know. And then we've been here. I've met a lot of other filmmakers from yes, here. Yes, I'm yes. meeting you for the first yes, time. Yes, that's true. That's true. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's a great place. It's yes, a great yes. opportunity. It's great. I'm happy with what they're doing.